Hey everybody, it's Andrew back again with another video and today we have a special unboxing. Just arrived in our studio is the Acer Aspire Switch Alpha 12, a 12 inch 2-in-1 tablet that will compete with the Surface Pro 4. It has a kickstand, it has a type cover, and it has a pen. Let's find out what you get inside the box. Got my knife. Let's find out what's inside this box. Well, as you know, I've been searching for the perfect 2-in-1, the Surface Pro 4 competitor. I've unboxed the Samsung Tab Pro S, the HP Spectre X2, the Lenovo Mix 700, and the list goes on and on. The Acer Aspire Switch Alpha 12. It's a 12 inch, 2-in-1, Core i5 Skylake. It has a kickstand, it has a type cover, and it has the high res screen. Very much a Surface Pro 4 competitor. This one I've been looking very forward to unboxing. So let's find out what's inside the box. Also, I have the Active Stylus. That was an additional $45 or $50 to where you can buy this and the cost, current price as to how much it is. So let's open it up like this and let's see what you get in the box the power charger let's find out it's not too bad not too big and let's take a look it is 19 volts 2.37 amps so we'll find out how fast this will charge let's see what else you get your US prongs US power cable that will go in three prong there normal stuff as we've seen time and time again let's put that aside some documentation this is the setup with the keyboard and very much surface like appearance again we're pretty familiar with this kind of setup and let's see what this is questions about setup and so forth you can call Acer I don't think so. Let's see the tablet. What we've all come here to see. This is the Switch Alpha 12. Let's take a look at the tablet real quick before we get to the keyboard. And I can tell you right away, it feels really nice. Now, I don't know if this is aluminum or plastic, but it feels pretty good. It has that brushed aluminum look. And the screen, I believe, is a 12 inch. 2160 by 1440 resolution and according to this sticker it has a liquid loop cooling system and that should be interesting so it looks like it has liquid cooling if that's possible full size backlit keyboard that is included in the box USB 3.1 and a resolution of 2160 by 1440 and obviously it has a kickstand which pulls out like that very much like the HP Spectre X2. Let's put this to the side for a moment. Let's see the keyboard real quick, and then we'll go over some of the ports. Here we have the type cover, and this is a very similar keyboard to the Surface type cover that we see in the Surface Pro 4, Surface Pro 3, and the Surface 3. And I can tell you right now, key travel is better than on the Surface Pro 4. Pretty good. It's got a nice, decent sized trackpad, nice click. And again, similar material to the Surface type cover. This is very, very similar, ladies and gentlemen. And it already has a pen loop pre applied. So I don't know how long that's going to stay on, but we'll find out. So that's the type cover. Let's put that to the side. Let's see what else you get. Uh, it says Acer Passport, and this is the warranty information, so let's put that to the side. And that might be it, and it is. Let's see how the keyboard snaps on. Typical Surface style, like that, and there you go. And it looks like it has the magnetic strip to have that elevated typing angle, and it does. And very, very similar to the Surface Pro 4. I am actually shocked at how much they borrowed from that. And there you go. You can go back as far down as that. Okay. And then you can go as far up like as 
much as you want because it is an infinite type kickstand very similar to the hp spectre x2 check out my video when we unboxed and reviewed that let's take a look at some of the ports Weight feels pretty good, by the way, and we'll talk more about dimensions and size. I'll put all the stats and so forth, the specs below. Here you have a microphone headphone jack. You have a USB 3.1. You have a USB Type-C, and I don't know if it has Thunderbolt 3 support. We will find out. I'm not sure. We will take a look to see if that will work. This is your power port. This is where you plug in your device. And on the other side, you have your Windows button, you have your volume rocker up and down, and you have your power button. On the bottom of the device, much like a Surface Pro 4, you have your pogo pin connectors there to where the type cover connects. On the front, you have a webcam, and on the back, camera right there. One thing I'd like to point out is when you lift the kickstand, which is our latch right there, it reveals a micro SD card slot right there. Back is some branding, Acer branding, metallic. And again, brushed aluminum, I guess. Feels good. And there it is. Good strong magnet. Here we have the Acer Active Stylus. It is, according to this, it has accuracy precision, a 1.6 millimeter tip. It also says it has an eraser on it and it has pressure sensitivity. So it comes with one quadruple A battery, one pen tip, and one Acer Active Stylus. Let's open this up real quick. And here is the pen. Surface tile pens. This one actually has a pen clip on it. Very nice touch. Not all of these have that. Let's unscrew this. Hope we're putting this in right. That screws in like that. And there it is. Now, the top does have erasure functionality according to the documentation on the box. It does come with an extra nib, and it has a button here, rocker style buttons on the pen. Looks nice, matches that, slots into the pen loop as such, so you can carry it. Let's take a look how this whole thing feels. Feels pretty good, looks great. I'm really loving this brushed metal aluminum look. So here it is, fully booted up. And I can tell you the screen looks really, really gorgeous. It's got that 2160 by 1440 resolution. Uh, let's take a look to see what the specs are. Let's see which SSD it's using. So let's use the pen here to figure this out. And again, the pen feels really good. Uh, you can see the nib there. And it's got the pen clip on there and it's got a, an eraser-like functionality. Let's go to disk drives. So it's using a Kingston RBU SSD. So it's a Kingston SSD. And this has running Windows 10 Home. It has a Intel Core i5-6200U. We've seen that before. It's at 2.30 gigahertz, eight gigabytes of RAM. Let's take a look at free space. Let's go to our PC here, say this PC. And it has 99.1 gigabytes free of the 128 gigabyte SSD. So let's test the pen real quick. Here's OneNote. Let's just draw it down. Hello. And pretty good. Seems to be working very good. And there is pressure sensitivity. I'm not sure which technologies it's using, whether it's the Wacom or Wacom or Entrig. I'm not really sure. We'll find out once we do our testing and do some more research on this. So it definitely feels good, feels nice in the hand, feels pretty much like writing on pen to paper. Nice job, Acer so far, I'm pretty impressed. Let's take a look at YouTube real quick. Now, one thing I do notice here and that I'm not liking, there's a lot of bloatware and something a little bit unusual. I see that Firefox has been pre-installed, which is kind of interesting and there has, there's a lot of bloatware that needs to be removed. And I don't know why Acer does this, Asus does this. I'm not happy with bloatware. I wish we would get more signature style edition PCs that Microsoft is offering in their store. And I wish more manufacturers will you do that as well. So far, the screen is excellent. It's got good viewing angles and so forth. Let's go to YouTube and see how 4K and sound is. Now, one thing I wanted to point out is this has a Core i5 Skylake processor, but unlike other devices, this has a, a special cooling system 
that they're employing. And according to the documentation, it's using liquid loop or liquid cooling. And so far, I have not heard a fan. There is no fan. And this is the only Core i5 I know that doesn't have a fan. There's nothing kicking in. I don't hear anything. So I am very impressed. Now, it does get a little bit of warm in the back as I've been using it. Again, this is not a Core M. This is not an Atom. This is a Core i5. Now, let me play a video. It's my latest video, which is the unboxing and first impressions of the Asus ZenBook UX303UB. And let's take a look at 4K and let's take a look at the sound. It's turned up to 100%. Let's hit play. Big SSD and a good price to boot. So let's find out what you get inside the box. Got my knife. Let's find out what... Actually, the speakers sound pretty good. They're not the loudest things in the world, but they're, they sound pretty full and they have some richness to it. So far pretty good, sound pretty good, screen looks gorgeous, no fan, Core i5, so far I'm loving it, I'm loving the pen. We're going to put it through its full paces, we'll do our full review as we normally do. Let's just take a look how thick and thin it is. Here it is with the type cover on it, as you can see there. Let's put the pen in its loop here, be able to store the pen as you can see there. So looking pretty good so far. I am very impressed. This is definitely a Surface Pro 4 competitor. It's definitely something I am interested in keeping. And I am looking forward to doing the full testing on this. I am very curious to see the benchmarks. So stay tuned. We will have a full review of the Acer Aspire Switch Alpha 12 as soon as we put it through its full testing as we normally do here at AMD Tech. We'll test the sound, we'll test performance, we'll test battery life, and we'll test the display and everything else associated with this device. I'm looking forward to it as it is indeed very impressive so far out of the box. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video, and please leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know how I'm doing and let me know how or what you would like me to test with this device or any other device for that matter. I will try to make that happen. So until next time, this is Andrew. See ya.